Valentines. Welcome to your mini bi-weekly general love tarot reading for February 1st through the 14th. I am so sorry that I am a little late on this reading due to uh, uh, being sick. And um, it was just very difficult for me to do a video with all that coughing I was doing. And I'm praying that I'm not going to cough through this video. Anyways, um, okay, here's the message. Uh, and by the way, thanks for your understanding and your patience. I'm getting some... Uh, movement here regarding uh, someone I feel that you may be may have been or are involved with I, I feel like this could be someone who is also in a committed relationship either you or them there has been a lot of deception here uh, I feel a lot of insecurities a lot of deception I don't feel like somebody's been telling the entire truth here uh, I do feel like, it, you know, this could be about marriage. Maybe you were promised a marriage and this person was already committed um, and they didn't, um, they really didn't follow through. It's also possible that this person, uh, uh, this person's spouse could have found out about you. And so there's a lot of uh, friction happening here. I'm getting Libra and I'm getting also fire in this uh, reading. I'm also feeling like there's, a, besides Libra, it could also be something to do with just air, which would be you. But I also feel like there's something that is just off balance here. Okay, I, because of the way the other cards are falling. And I also feel like there's money involved here. Like maybe somebody owns a home and uh, and, and has children and, and, you, and, and this relationship doesn't have the freedom uh, that you were hoping for to continue this relationship. That is just the message that Spirit gave me. Uh, it also can mean here that you uh, are in love with someone. Now, I'm getting also to a same-sex relationship besides uh, heterosexual here. And I feel like it's you and a fire sign or it, it, it could be sun, moon, or rising, but it's fire. There's fire in this person. And I don't feel like they have been totally honest with you uh, in regards to uh, this relationship. Like I feel like they've been leading you on to believe that there was something that was going to materialize between the two of you and that did not happen, okay? Uh, I do feel like it's stuck. I don't feel like it's moving forward the way you'd hope it to be. So I think maybe that uh, you need to kind of let this go for now and see how it unfolds and leave it to higher source uh, to see what direction it goes. Um, I'm also getting something with Taurus. Taurus is in here um, or in general an earth sign uh, that uh, some of you may actually be involved with. There is a lot of chemistry with this person. I feel like some of you are just insecure to move forward on this on on relationships because of just what's happened in the past and and um you know some of you just don't want to open your heart enough uh because of fear of, of maybe somebody's going to lie to you or they're not going to be honest or faithful with you um and you're going to get hurt okay but i'm not i'm feeling like there's a lot of chemistry let me just go ahead and pull some cards over this um uh, yeah, I, I here I feel like it's it's about releasing your ex in order to remove to move forward in this uh, relationship. Yeah, the, uh, definitely getting that it's it's time to just kind of clear the past and move forward and trust love. Just trust love. If if, if you have a problem with trusting the person, how about just trusting love? You know, just love in itself and see where that takes you. Uh, just. Yeah, I mean, it's a relationship that, it, who who doesn't have to work on a relationship? There is, however, some, uh, I do feel, uh, besides healing with you, there there tends uh, to be some family issues that are happening uh, that are also distracting you. Uh, but I, and, and I, and it could involve actually a Scorpio or a water sign, but I do feel like it's, uh, going to be okay. I feel like uh, the air is lifting. Now we do have some eclipse energy to look forward to, don't we, <laughs> coming up. So, you know, sometimes that tightens the uh, the bulb 
a little bit too tight and then the bulb busts and and so the light keeps shining but everything else around it shatters in the meantime let's connect to the light let's believe in ourselves um let's have faith in what we select okay now i know that we get involved in repetitive patterns but let's trust ourselves some more so maybe we can break some of that repetitive pattern mm. Yeah, so now here I'm getting, uh, okay, so looking at these three cards here, I'm feeling like something is happening with someone. Uh, I feel like maybe they're not seeing the total picture uh, on what's going on here. Uh, I feel like some of you have just kind of given up a lot of you uh, to someone else, and I feel like that person could be a, a, water, a water sign or... Uh, um, or it's just your emotions are just flowing here and I just feel like you need to lighten up a little bit here I, maybe you're just looking for too much or looking at too much in the situation that might not actually totally be there because uh, some of it might just be where your memory is at you know where where your mind is flowing at the time uh, and I do feel like this Knight of Pentacles, uh, who is an uh, an Earth sign of some, either Virgo, Capricorn, or um, Taurus, which I had picked up Taurus down here, but I picked up an older Taurus. This guy's a young guy, and I feel like he's got like really deep olive skin, or he could be brown skin, and I feel like his eyes are really beautiful. Uh, I feel like they're very meaningful, and I feel like he... Uh, or she wants to really be a part of your life, but you're just still uh, wrapped up into something else that just isn't giving you the freedom that you need to get involved. Uh, I feel like you're thinking about it. I also feel like somebody may have been actually involved with uh, someone who is of a different culture or religion or race. Um and is has you know you're just kind of thinking this over because I feel like there have been some signs of not being in a truthful situation like I'm, I'm picking up deception okay well I you know I see I see new relationships although I feel like uh something's going on here with you where you feel like you need to stand up for your rights. Uh, somebody is pleading with you. I feel like they're pleading with you to listen to them. Getting a fire sign again. Uh, but I'm feeling like uh, they're pleading with you to listen to them. And you're listening, but you're saying also, you know, I'm not budging. These are my boundaries. I'm not budging here. And... Um, Yeah, so, but I feel like you can be maybe a little bit less forceful here um, because I feel like the the relationship has a chance and you don't want to like scare it away because I, I feel like at the end here, there's an offer, there's a reconciliation, a uh, meeting of two souls that really do love one another, really do appreciate one another. Um, and, uh, you know, some of uh, Gemini, some of you are feeling like Virgo just came in here. Like maybe you have a rise or moon rising or moon in Virgo. Uh, I, cause I feel like that may be targeting you. Uh, although it can resonate with anyone who feels this, uh, part of the reading that I'm, I'm discussing here. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Archangel Tarot, uh, cards. I actually got these. Uh, for Christmas for my daughter. Uh, they're by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. What are the messages for Gemini? I feel like m the month of February is a change for you. Um... You know, I, I, to me, I feel that all changes are good. Uh, 
sometimes they don't feel good, some of them, because uh, sometimes things have to clear out because they no longer serve our higher purpose. And, um, okay, that card wanted to jump out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that card. So I... Um, I just, I'm just getting a sense of, from spirit, that there are changes uh, going to happen in February. And uh, I would just go ahead and flow with them because some of these changes are definitely needed. The Four of Gabriel, the Eight of Ariel, and King of Michael. Now, the Four of Gabriel, this is something to celebrate about. So maybe something that... Um, you were looking forward to, like, I got Valentine's Day. You know, maybe there is a dinner or a, a, some type of event or engagement that you're going to. And I feel like that is something that, um, uh, like, you're going to reap the rewards for it. So perhaps somebody is actually going to propose to you or say that they're in a committed relationship with you. Uh, as you can look at the pictures, it's really um, awesome. Two people there. Um the angels looking over and uh, to me, I feel like it's a proposal, honestly. The Eight of Ariel here, uh, it's, it, I feel like you need to be proud, Gemini, for some of the things that you've healed and what you've pulled out of. Really, you've done some amazing work with yourself and you really need to give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Um. I also feel like some of you may actually, moving just out of this love reading for a moment, you may actually, some of you may actually be thinking of going back to school or uh, furthering your education. Uh, or it could be a job that you are going to uh, train for. Uh, you get some training, but I feel that. Um, the King of Michael is basically uh, about staying in your integrity. And... Uh, it, it calls for a situation to be honest with open communication. So that's what I'm getting here, uh, which I feel is, has a lot to do with the love reading. Um, just open the doors to communication. And you're an air sign, you're Mercury, so that should be no problem for you. Okay, so let's go ahead on with the general reading. What are the messages for... Gemini. I think what I'm feeling here is resistance. Like perhaps some of you are resisting change. Um, you know, I mean, some of this change could be just bliss and some of it could be painful. And, you know, when we are, um, or if we've had a painful past, we tend to resist change uh, because we feel insecure. Well, I've got the three of air. Six of air. Wow. Seven air. Look at the air cards. Ooh, Gemini. This is you. Two of water. King of earth. Strength. Eight of water. And two of fire. Okay, so with the three of air, six of air, seven of air, and two of water, what we have here is, this is what I was talking about, uh, you know, being resistant to change. It also means that some of you may be feeling down. There have been some changes and I don't think you're allowing yourself to heal. Allow yourself to heal the pain. Okay. Um, and I also feel like you need to release yourself from, from regrets and anger. Okay. Just work with yourself to release those emotions. And then we've got here the six of air Things will be looking up. Things will be, be moving. Uh, I feel like you will be moving yourself out of a difficult situation. Thank you, Spirit. Like I kept seeing things moving here. Uh, moving yourself out of a, a, a difficult situation. I also feel like some of you are actually going to take a trip somewhere. Um, 
So, you know, February is a really nice month. Maybe you'll go away for Valentine's. Let's make it a romantic trip, huh? They have a lot of things going on. Cruises and vacation packages uh, for Valentine lovers. Uh, Seven of Air. Uh, and I wouldn't be afraid to go alone. If you're single, hey, you may meet somebody. There's tons of Valentine things going on for people to meet. Now, uh, the Seven of Air is saying that there are some uh, things going on that... that aren't meeting the eye. So in other words, I feel here we've got some uh, gossip or some, uh, I guess, information that you haven't found out yet. Uh, I'm also feeling like some of your plans that you uh, have been shaken up, some of your plans have been shaken up and what you thought you were going to move forward uh, with in 2017, you're actually not. So you, I feel like you're being called to the uh, board uh, and to revise your plans. The two of water here, this is a, a, an emotion of two people uh, moving forward and, and forgiving one another. And uh, there's a, a positive resolution to this conflict. Now, this doesn't have to just be a lover or, or partner. This can also be family, a friend, you know, somebody that you may have been at a standstill with is now moving forward. Um, I think there's peace you know, make love. There's peace in this relationship uh, coming. Uh, I feel also too, for some of you who are involved with someone, uh, I do feel that there is a sudden closeness. Uh, maybe there's a surprise coming uh, that is good. Uh, maybe a proposal or because I had picked that up before, or maybe it's just, just two people enjoying uh, love together. So the King of Earth, this is a very generous card. This this uh, signifies, um, <coughs> excuse me, please, I don't want to cough. This signifies uh, a successful time, okay? And, and, and for you to really look closely to the opportunities that come your way, because I feel like the doors are opening and the road is clearing. And some of these opportunities that you're being going to be offered you know, whether you're looking for a job or, or you're putting a bid on a house or, you know, whatever the situation may be, whatever is being offered, I feel is good. Okay. I feel like you really need to um, look at it closely. Now, however, some of you may be in that I don't trust uh, situation here. You need a lot of strength to move beyond uh, the trust issues here um, and not be so judgmental. Okay, I feel like bring in compassion, compassion. If you work with with the energy of compassion, it can really open up your heart space. And even though things may have gone sour or about to go sour, you will find the light in it uh, by working with the energy of compassion. The eight of water is, uh, okay, someone who is looking to um, move on. All right. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily be move on, moving on in a negative way, but just moving on uh, to find what your niche is. And uh, like I said, I felt like there was some school or some training uh, going on here. So, you know, maybe some of you have awakened to your sole purpose and now you're finding the road, the journey, uh, uh, which is always connected to you, uh, to take you where you uh, really wish to go. Okay. Finding something meaningful. The two of fire here is you just coming into your own soul power, just coming into your own space. Um, also to reevaluating or evaluating uh, some like uh, deals that are going on uh, related to money, related to work, related to business, like such as partnerships, contracts, uh, negotiations. Uh, all this is what's happening here. Okay. Uh, anyways, it doesn't look like a bad month for you. Okay. And I, I, you know, change, I feel changes, you know, some of you may actually have to give up something that you don't really want to give up, but it's at its loss. And others, you may be like, you know, healing now from loss or healing from just being in a stagnant situation and moving forward, which is good. It's very good. Okay. If you'd like a personal reading, www.transformationandempowerment.com. Please remember to check your moon and rising. Much love and blessings.